It is a wind of change as a growing number of vehicles could be seen entering the boundaries of the two towns. With these arrivals, the manager of Desert Explorers and Quad Bikes in Swakopmund is optimistic that business would pick up again, more so that the prices have now been lowered for the long weekend. Majority of the clients who made early bookings at Daredevil Adventures are from Vinduk. Um, we're actually very proud uh, of the Namibians. They're doing very well for us, um, especially people from Vinduk coming around doing quad parking, doing dune buggies. And at the moment, we do have specials as well. We give a $100 discount to each of everyone. Uh, most business coming definitely from Namibians. We have here and there maybe two or three or four or five, but uh, not more than 10 um, foreign people coming to visit us here. Local photographer can now do business again and just like any other businesses, considering the impact of the troubled economy on individual pockets, Clinton Fish too has lowered his prices. In the beginning of lockdown, business was down. Like, you know, I didn't have any shoots. Most of my shoots cancelled. Shoots that already uh, prepaid cancelled. I had to pay back um, deposits. I had to pay back full amounts. But now, as lockdown is being extended with uh, certain rules, and um, business is starting to pick up. Let's uh, support the tourism sector and make the best out of the worst. We are here now and uh, we celebrate. And uh, I just want to tell the people, <laughs> come and support the country to, to build up our economical, tourism, uh, yeah. uh, economical cir circumstances is now in crisis. So uh, support the tourism sector so that we can um, make a best out of it. Unlike in the past where the NBC crew was welcomed with a big cheese in public places, this time around it was different. The NBC team was not welcomed at some places by some holiday makers. Elvis Mboya, NBC News, Swakopmund.